This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network, and we're a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metals Summit Europe being held virtually this year. Joining me right now is George Paspalis. He is the president and CEO of Mag Silver. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is MAG on both the TSX and the NYC American. George, good to see you. How are you doing? Really well, Robert. How about yourself? Uh, you know, no complaints. You know, we were at Beaver Creek and now no complaints in Zurich. You know, and uh, we're going for it. <laughs> so, all so, from your lounge room. <laughs> what? All from your own lounge room, right? All, all from our own lounge room, of course. <laughs> so, so George, uh, since we last spoke and published our interview on September 7, 2020, you know, I'd love to get, uh, love to hear about some key highlights from Max Silver since that interview. A uh, lot's happened. Um, you know, we've at our flagship property currently, um, one of Scipio, we've uh, announced that we're now in production and uh, we've got our quarterlies coming up here in um, early November. Uh, we've released the production numbers from um, the third quarter uh, in line with our partner Fresnel. And you can see we've made, you know, some some silver, gold, lead, and zinc. Uh, remembering this is from pre-production material from the Valdecanes vein. Um, whilst we're still building the process plant, we're taking two days worth of processing, two days of 8,000 tons per day. So 16,000 tons uh, in a month is going to the Fresneo plant. They're cleaning their plant out. This is going through in a focused batch where we get a really good look at the metallurgical performance of this material. And I mean, we've done three batches through the plant now and it's performing very well. We're very comfortable with what we're seeing in terms of the grind ability, the, you know, the, the ability of the uh, mills to break the ore down and get the required throughput. Uh, we're very heartened by the recoveries we're seeing and it's very early days and uh, development rock but you know we're seeing a pretty good grade so and then in, that's the most important stuff right because that data and the experience we're going to get over the next six seven eight months will, will, will come into play when we start up our own flotation plan the middle of next year and we've got all this operating history and uh, moving forward, we're actually gonna to start to optimize the flotation circuit here now. Uh, we're gonna learn so much. So when we start up, we're gonna start up fast and we're gonna ramp up quickly. And then along the way, we get cash from this. So we, you know, here's a flotation plant being built, but we're generating cash flow. It's a wonderful commercial situation to be in and it's the fact that we're partners with Fresnel and there's a plant around the corner from where we're building our plant. So would you say, you know, COVID notwithstanding, I mean, would you say that these corporate highlights, you know, not just since our last conversation, but just in 2020 in general, are they in line with your goals that you had for the company in 2020? Yep, they are. And, you know, I have to commend Fresnel, the operator of the joint venture, in terms of the way they are managing through you know, the complexities of COVID. And so we, we, beginning of this year or early this year, we said that you know, come August, we're hoping to start to process some of this material. Well, we actually started in July. And we said, we're gonna bring our first stope online in October, our first production stope in the underground mine um, in, October of this year and you know I think it's coming up in the next few days so we've achieved those milestones we haven't uh, changed the schedule from when we're going to start to commission the plant which is the middle of next year so notwithstanding COVID we are still executing on the milestones that we laid out pre-COVID I'll say that the Enable, to enable us to manage COVID and continue to work the way we are now, there's probably a, an incremental cost associated with the um, work we're doing in Mexico. I think it's of the order of maybe one and a half, maybe $2 million on the project. 
Um, so there's a cost to being able to hit our um, targets, but a lot of this is about testing. It's about um, protection and it's about some of the physical um, infrastructure that we've brought into place to maintain separation and keep people safe. Very good. And, uh, you know, my, my last question to you is uh, I asked you at our last interview about value catalysts and what uh, some what uh, obviously from what you could tell us for the rest of this year going into 2021. So again, from what you can tell us, are there any additional value catalysts or milestones uh, that you'd like to discuss here for the rest of this year going into 2021? Well, I think the, the biggest value catalyst for us now is continuing to show the progress on the construction of the Juan Ocipio plant, continue to process pre-development material and now some of the early production material from the underground through the Fresneo plant. That's going to generate good cash for us. And then start up the plant. Right, so it's still the middle of next year where we're targeting it at the moment. I think that's the primary value catalysts. We're, we're going to execute on our exploration program on the one Ocipio joint venture ground uh, for this year. Um, we did lose about six weeks due to COVID, uh, but we'll catch that up by the end of the year. And so, you know, going into next year, we hope to have some good news to report from the exploration. It's primarily around Valdecones and its vein system with you know targeted drilling on the Anticipatas and the uh, Venatus veins, the discoveries of the last few years. And then we've got a new thing to play with in MAG, which is deer trail. Uh, we announced deer trail um, just before Beaver Creek actually, and we ran on the Monday of Beaver Creek, we ran a substantial coming out party for deer trail. And we believe this is a very, very prospective project we have, um, but we're cautioning investors that our approach to exploration here, like all the exploration we've done, is very strategic. And we start with a geological model and a geological thesis which is what we did at Juan Ocipio in 2003. And it was different. And the deer trail one's a little different to conventional thoughts. And we're not expecting to have what would be turned by investors to be exploration success on our initial drill program. What we wanna do in our initial drill program is drill to find the host rocks that we believe the mineralization is in. Now, we may not have any assays to um, release based on this program. So I wanna set everyone's expectations that this first drill program is purely about getting technical information to truth up our model and fine tune our geological model. The model's right, the bling comes later on. And that's where we will believe we will go here. Now, to keep all options open, the drilling at Juan Ocipio in 2003 was exactly the same approach. Let's prove up our model. The fact that we had a discovery hole in hole one is what can happen sometimes. So fingers crossed to repeat the movie, but um, we're very excited about the long-term prospects of the trial. And George, with that, where can our audience go and find everything they need to know to follow along the Mag Silver story? Uh, the Mag Silver website's best, Robert. Um, that's obviously at www.magsilver.com, and on there you'll see um, you know, the updates on one Scipio. You'll see our corporate presentation. Uh, we're putting together a page on Deer Trail now. There's the I think it's hour and fifteen minute presentation on the air trail and the Q&A period. Um, something I'd like to draw our investors' attention to is um, with deer trail, one of the components of deer trail that we are very passionate about is that we are the operator of that. And so we can start to showcase what we're doing from a health, safety, environmental stewardship, community relations point of view. And so, you know, we've, as the non-operator of Juan Ocipio, 
we've relied on Fresneo, who are the operator for the matters of ESG, let's call it, uh, certainly the ES, and they do a wonderful job. But now we, we've got control of our own destiny. And we hope to be able to show the investment community just what we're doing in terms of um, ESG in MAG when we're the operator. So there's so many good things that come out of Deer Trail, being the operator is one of them. But the website's the best place to go. Very good. Well, George, thank you so much for joining me today. I wish you guys the best of luck. Stay safe. And I look forward to our next update. Thanks, Robert. And the same to you. Thank All you. the best. Thank you. Again, my name is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network. And we are a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Europe being held virtually this year. George will be there giving an update on Mag Silver. And uh, thank you all for watching. Wonderful. All the best, everybody.